In Swift UI, the simplest type of animation is an implicit one. We tell our views ahead of time, if someone wants to animate you, here's how you should respond. And nothing more. Swift UI takes care of making sure any changes that do occur follow the animation you requested. In practice, this makes animation trivial. It literally could not be any easier. Let's start with an example. We could replace our current body code with a button with a little bit of padding and styling around it. We'll say the button called tap me that will currently do nothing at all. And with styling, I'm gonna add 50 points of padding, add a background with a red color, a foreground style of white, and a clip shape of circle, like so. What we want is for this little button here to get bigger every time it's tapped. And we can do that with a new modifier called scale effect. You provide this with a value of zero upwards and be drawn at various sizes where one is 100%. So 0.5 is half a size, two is twice the normal size and so on. And because we wanna change that scale, every time the button's pressed, it's gotta be an at state property. So we'll say at state private var animation amount, I'll make equal to 1.0 by default, be a regular size. And now we can tell the button to use that for its scale effect. So I'll say scale effect of animation amount. Scale up by, in this case, 100%. And finally, when this button is pressed, we want to increase the size of our button by one. So I'll say animation amount plus equals one. I'll press Command R to build and run that code so you can see it running nice and big in my simulator. We're gonna hopefully get our regular size button. Let's find out, there we go. When I press on it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's now 400%, 500%, 600%, 700% and so forth. Now, you might just be able to make out in the video if I get bigger again, the button isn't getting redrawn at increasingly higher resolution. As it's getting bigger and bigger, it's kind of getting jaggy, getting blurry, and that's okay. That's what it does behind the scenes. Now. The human eye is very sensitive to movement. We're exceptionally good at detecting when things move or change their appearance, which is what makes animation both so important and so pleasing to us. We like animation very much. And so we can ask SwiftUI to make an implicit animation for our changes. So all the scaling happens smoothly. I'm gonna say dot animation dot default value of animation amount. There's a tell SwiftUI please apply a default animation whenever the value of animation amount changes. And immediately, if I press Command R again, you'll see tapping the button is now a smooth growth like that. Now this implicit animation takes effect on all properties of the view that changes. So if we attach more animating modifiers to the view, they'll all change together. For example, we can add a second type of modifier here, blur. Add a Gaussian blur to our button with a, whatever radius we choose. So before animation here, like after scale effect, I'm gonna say apply blur with a radius. Now the radius I'm gonna use is going to be animation amount minus one times three. And this is in parentheses. So we're saying uh, animation amount starts at one here. So we do animation amount minus one by default, so one minus one is zero, times three is still zero, so initially the button isn't blurred at all. When animation amount is two, now it's animation amount two minus one is one times three, so when, it, when animation amount's two, blur radius will be three. It gets blurrier and blurrier as it gets bigger and bigger. So we'll press play again, and see what you think. The button, bigger and blurrier, even bigger, even blurrier, really big and really blurry, and so forth. Get increasingly blurry, the bigger it gets. The point is that nowhere in any of this code have we had to say what each frame the animation looked like. We haven't even had to say when 50 y should start and finish the animation. Instead, our animation becomes a function of our view state, just like the rest of the views themselves.